in their eyes if they're ready. Are you ready, my dear? I am ready. Okay, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we say hello to Kathy Corinson and Deborah Munley? <laughs> little applause, Charles. Thank you. <laughs> Kathy has won $1,200, and uh, she's very happy about that. She's being challenged by Deborah Munley, who is expecting a baby when? In May. Beginning In May. of May. In May. Beginning of May. Okay. You have one now, right? Yes. Uh, how old? She'll be three. Three. And what's her name? Amy. Who? Amy. Amy. Oh, she like watches Amy. program? Oh, yeah. Sure. She likes it? Oh, yes. Does she understand it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bring her in sometime. Okay. Let her explain it to us. <laughs> you We're in the middle of round two here, and we'll see how this game ends in a moment or so. Right now, we've got this just for you. Thank you very much. Well, hello. Here we are. Ready to carry on and finish this game. Now, Kathy, you've got to match two to tie and three to win. Everybody plays, and she didn't match anyone in the first round. Dumb Dora called the doctor and said, Doc, I think I have colitis. Whenever I walk, my blanks collide. <laughs> I think I have colitis. Whenever I walk, my blanks collide. Oh, isn't that cute? It is. It is. Cute is the word for it. Cute is the... Uh, yeah, no, 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 blanks collide. Da, 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 do the varsity train. Remember that? Uh, hello, Kathy. Ready. Okay, here we go. Dumb Dora called the doctor and said, Doctor, I think I have colitis. Whenever I walk, my blanks collide. Boobs. Really? I would have said me. What did she say? She said boobs. <laughs> did she say boobs? She said boobs. Well, well, I never. Well, I did once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm afraid I went with knees. Knees is what I thought, too, yes. Okay, now, Kathy, so, remember you need two to win, four to, uh, to three to tie, or four to win, and five, whatever you say, however you count them. What do you say? I say shape up, is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. I said, the trick of this game is whether or not, whether or not you like legs, knees, and whatever. The trick is to match her. I said, bazoom. Bazoom. So that good. Or your fanny flags. Right. Okay, you need another pair, Kathy. I said legs. Legs. Okay. Kathy, score is now two to one. Favor Deborah. You need one more to tie. Sarah? I said knees. 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 Okay. Richard, she's looking for a pair. Okay. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Okay. Okay. Score is now tied two to two. Or four to two. <laughs> what do you say? I said old rumble fives. Fives. Well, I'll be darned. This guy, I thought everybody would have knees or boobs on that one, and that didn't work out that way. So the game ends in a tie, and we'll have to blow a fuse here and uh, turn off all those numbers. Push this button here, and uh, reveal... Oh, wait a minute. There you go. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I love you when you're There's strong like that. Tie breaking. Now, one tie-breaking question for each of you, and the one who matches the most celebrities will be the winner. And, Jabra, you may have A or B. B, please. You may have B. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that one out because as soon as I let it go, this thing's going to fall down. And I'm going to stick that one in my pocket without looking at it. And this is yours. All right? Okay. Here we go. Now, little Tommy's mother screamed. Tommy! How many times do I have to tell you? Don't wash the cat in the blank. <laughs> Well, 
Don't wash! 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 Don't Deborah, little baby. Tommy's mother screamed, Tommy, how many times do I have to tell you, don't wash the cat in the blank? Toilet bowl. I couldn't hear her. But she was ashamed of her answer, so she didn't say it loud. That's why. <laughs> she said toilet bowl. P U, you're right. Right. Oh. What'd you say? Well, I was in another room altogether, the washing machine. There's the answer. Oh. That would hurt the cat. You see, Brad? Oh, no, here's the answer. In the fishbowl with the piranhas. Oh. oh, yes, that would hurt the cat, too, Charles. I think there's an H in piranha. <laughs> Washer. Washer. Sarah Kennedy. Yes. The mother screamed, how many times do I have to tell you don't wash the cat in the blank? Yes, in the toilet. Oh. <laughs> One for it, Eddie. Yes. Washing machine. Washing machine. That would be injurious to that kitten. Right. Yes. I love cats, don't you? Yes, I love I cats. Washing machine. All right. So, Deborah, there's one for you. And when we get back from this commercial, you have to match one to tie again. Two to, two to win. Okay. Let's see how this game turns out right after this. Here we go. Here we go. Where are we going? It's in your pocket. It's in your oh, it's pocket. in my pocket. <laughs> I'm looking for the question, and here it is, in my pocket. I forgot all about that. All right. Now remember what you have to do, Kathy. One to tie, two to win. <laughs> hey, did you hear about the Eskimo delicatessen? No! I'll tell you about the Eskimo delicatessen. They make terrific chicken soup, but... How terrific are they? Ah, shut up. <laughs> How terrific are I tell you. Instead of putting in matzo balls, they use blank balls. <laughs> Eskimo delicatessen. Ah. Terrific chicken soup, but instead of putting in matzo balls, they use blank balls. Good. Very good. You're okay, Sarah. Oh, All right, here we go. Kathy, there's this Eskimo delicatessen, Kathy, and they make terrific chicken soup, but instead of putting in matzo balls, they use blank balls. Snowballs. Snowballs. She got the idea, Dick, did you? I feel the fool because I did snowballs too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got it back. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. Take it back. Take it back. There. So that's one for her tie score now. One more iced sphere, and will that'll win the game for her. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to speak. I'm so moved by Dick getting the right answer. <laughs> you got the right one? Yes, and I did too. Well, that wins the game. Everybody has snowballs. Oh, yeah. There you go again. Deborah, good luck in your upcoming blessed event. Many gifts will be coming your way. A 27-year supply of pantyhose, which you can't wear now because they won't fit you. That'd be a little too tight. Goodbye, my dear. Now, Kathy, you picked up another hundred dollars. You're up to thirteen hundred, and here, here's your big chance one more time. Good luck to you. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this: blank China. Blank China. Now, the answer that group of people gave us most frequently will get you $500 if you match it. Their second most popular answer will net you $250, and then their third, $100, and three of our six celebrities can help you. Brett. Bone China. Bone China. Richard. Red China. All right. And Charles. Hello. He's thinking. 
stinks. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I've got it for you, honey. No. Made in Japan? No. no. <laughs> What's that got to do with China? <laughs> No. Come on, Charles. Now think of one. You're out. All right, you gotta the go. The Sea of China. The Sea of China. The Sea of China. Oh, well, we got Red Sea, Bone Sea. Now the Sea of China. All right, you got Red China, Bone China, and the Sea of China. You may choose one of those, or give us one of your own. I love it. Red China. Red China is the answer she wants. Let's find out if it's up there, and if so, where? May we see the one hundred dollar number? Slow boat to China. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. That's what I meant. That was a Doris Day song, wasn't it? Doris Day sang. Yes, indeed. Let's see if we get Red China on the next one. Go. Bone China. That was Brett's answer. All right. Here's the last chance to get Richard's answer. Red China. Slide it, Earl. Right. There you go. You got it. Congratulations. Very good. All right. You know what now? Oh, yes. Multiply that by 10, and you got 5,000 5, bucks. I hope you get it this time. You got to match one celebrity, though. I got to try Richard again. <laughs> Gonna try him again. Okay, here we go. Good luck to you, Kathy. Here we are. Blank Ray. R A Y. Blank Ray. He's finished. He, almost before I finish saying it. Blank Ray. What do you say to that to match him? If you do, you get the five thousand dollars. Fay Ray. Fay Ray. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, there's a lot of publicity about that because of King Kong and Fay Ray and all that. But her name is spelled W R A Y. That's why I spell them just to make sure that no one misunderstands here. Richard. X Ray. Well, you are not on the same X Ray wavelength there. So, Kathy, you've picked up a little, you know, you picked up another $600 here. You got to $1,800 now. And you're going to meet another player later after we do a little business with America. Oh, are you ready to greet a new player? Yeah. Then would you please applaud Mr. Mark Wilczynski. <laughs> what do you say, Mark? Nothing much. Just went to play. Now, do you know how to play this game? Just a little bit. A little bit. I've been watching it for years. You have? Yeah. Yeah. We've been on a long time now. We're approaching, uh, well, we've over three and a half years. And uh, we'd like to find out where you're from and what you do for a living, or if you're a student or whatever. Well, I'm a student at uh, Loyola Law School. Yeah. And I'm, uh, I work my way through school by driving trucks. Really? Any kind of a truck. Yeah. Trucks here, there. You're a truck driver. No, I'm a law student. Oh, I see. <laughs> Better than being a truck driver. Okay. Yeah. For me, at least. Now, how can you do combine those? That seems like it would be very difficult for you. Yeah. It's tough, yeah. huh? <laughs> sure You is. drive long distances? No, just short distances. Yeah. Got to get back to school. Yeah. Right. Well, good luck. I admire Thanks, somebody as industrious and ambitious as you are to work your way through law school. Thank good you. luck there and good luck here. What does this little pig signify? Well, that's my little pig. That's... Yeah, I know it's a yeah, little it's pig. Yeah, it's a good luck charm. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. It's a little pig, by right. George. Right. Yeah. It's a, it, it's a pig. Gene. Yeah. It, has it ever done anything for you before? It's, no, nothing. No. Unfortunately. Yeah. I'm trying it out the first time. Oh, I see. Well, we're going to find out if it works right now. Mark, you can have A or B. I'm going to take B because my wife's going to have a baby. Oh, all right. Okay, B for baby. Here it is. Optimistic Oliver oh. was the most optimistic guy in the world. On his deathbed... Not, not, uh, when I tell you now, you know, on his deathbed, he bought a blank. Optimistic Oliver, the most optimistic guy in the world. On his deathbed, he bought a blank. It's a good question. It is a good question. Oh, I yeah. Like it. There are many Very good one. That's right. That's the way it is in round one questions, you know. Number of good answers. Most optimistic guy in the world. On his deathbed, he bought a blank. Bought he bought a blank. On his oh, on, oh! He's optimistic. On his deathbed, he bought a blank. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Mark, I'll give it to you one more time. Put it in the slot, Dick, and away we go. Optimistic Oliver was the most optimistic guy in the world. On his deathbed, he bought a... Life insurance policy. Life insurance policy. Very good. 
Mark's got the idea. Bought a life insurance policy on his deathbed. That's not optimistic. No, what a is it? A real optimist would buy a bottle of 1976 Chateau Lafitte. <laughs> <laughs> that would take 12 years to age. Yes. Uh, that logic, see, that's that legal brain at work. Mm. They, see, uh, that makes no sense to me at all. I started to say life insurance policy, and I said, now that's dumb, because that's what you would do if you were going to die, right? Sure. You hopefully would buy a life insurance. Right. That's not optimistic. That's pessimistic. But if you were dying, it, uh, it's an optimist to buy a new bed. <laughs> an optimist, though, if he were honest, he would, he would think he was going to live, you see, so he'd buy a non Full blank. <laughs> Full blank? <laughs> All right, Charles. I don't know why, but it means something to me. A Volkswagen. <laughs> Just go on and on. No. You know what I said? What? A 77 Seville. <laughs> what do you say? Well, I have to say that legal minds work together because I said life insurance. Thank you. Thank you. Do you mean to tell me? Yes. You yes. have legal training? Uh, absolutely. Really? Yes. Last murderer she defended, they hung the judge. <laughs> <laughs> right of tort. <laughs> I'm only kidding. On his deathbed, <laughs> optimistic thought. Oliver bought a blank. Bought a magazine subscription to Life. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now, yeah, well, hello, he, sweetheart. Hello, darling. I thought that he did come to terms that he was dying, but he was just optimistic and he bought himself a heart. Oh. <laughs> he was going to the... I see. Okay. He thought he was going to the good place up there. Okay. All right, Kathy, you ready for yours? I am. Here we go. The hotel bellboy said, mm -hmm. President Carter and his family just spent their vacation here. When they checked in, Jimmy carried the bags, so I carried blank. <laughs> now, here's another good one. Oh, I love these today. The bellboy said President Carter and his family just spent their vacation here. And when they checked in, Jimmy carried the bags, so I carried blank. Have you seen newsreel pictures of Jimmy Carter? He's always carrying his own suitcase. Yeah. Well, th that's based on that. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see I that. I think it's a marvelous movie. question. Oh, Brad, in answer to your question, Carter won. <laughs> You ever watch the news? Have you seen those marvelous film clips of President uh, Elect, uh, uh, Carter uh, President Carter, Carter or whatever? Yeah, all right, okay. You haven't seen it, though. Okay. I try not to. Are you sure he won? Oh, yeah. Yes, he won. I thought Humphrey won. Hello, Kathy. Hello. Hotel Bellboy said President Carter and the family just spent their entire vacation here. When they checked in, Jimmy carried the bag, so I carried blank. Amy. His daughter, Amy. Amy. But Jimmy Carter is always carrying Amy. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him carry Amy, too. I had another answer in mind. Dick, did you? I, I had Roslyn. Yeah! Yeah. Jimmy carried the bag, and I carried Rosalind, as Rosalind. they say. No, they say. no. Rosalind, Rosalind, Rosalind. Right. Rosalind is his lovely wife, right? Right. That's true. I got it right. I carried his wife. His wife. Right. His wife. Well, all right. Rosalind, if you're going to be hateful. Well, about it doesn't Amy. Amy, Amy, oh, Amy is what they're looking for. Amy is the daughter. Oh, you I see. know her. Yeah, you know. Oh, really? Oh, she loves children. <laughs> Hello, Charles. The right answer, of course. Naturally. So there's one for Kathy. Scores now tied one to one. Jimmy carried the bag, so I carried Amy, Sarah. You did? Yes. Well, I said carry the peanuts. <laughs> oh! Well, that's the way it is. Look at this. She gets an ovation for her answer. <laughs> I love America. <laughs> Bellboy carries the toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> that was the <laughs> he has the biggest tooth. That's really. right. <laughs> Reminds me of Jack LaSchooley. Had Several one tooth of went teeth. from there to there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, well, I say you mustn't ask Yankees this question. The correct answer is the bellboy carried the grits. The grits! Okay. So there we are. One to one and around one. And now we've got this especially for you.